So you're looking at the title of the video and you're thinking, BS, is this clickbait? Can you really increase your testosterone levels by using your imagination? I promise you it is not clickbait. I am even gonna cite studies to show how you can actually increase your testosterone levels by thinking about it, all right? So first of all, let me explain why testosterone is really important for men and women, all right? So for women, okay, testosterone, uh, basically uh, higher testosterone levels allows a woman to have higher bone density, which is very important as a woman ages to avoid osteoporosis, okay? And for men, uh, testosterone, apart from just building more muscle, is very linked to energy metabolism and also sleep quality. So somebody with very low testosterone level is going to age quicker, they're going to have less energy, they're going to just feel terrible and not be able to sleep well, which is why a lot of men these days that have very low testosterone levels go to the doctor and they get pre prescribed testosterone replacement therapy. Now, three days ago, I went to get my blood tested and my blood results came back and my testosterone levels were through the roof, okay? My testosterone levels were over just over 1,000 nanograms per deciliter, okay? Now, you might know, know what that means, but basically it is very, very high even for an 18-year-old and for a 45-year-old because testosterone levels go down with age. That is like in the top 0.01% of men who are, you know, with natural testosterone, okay? In fact, when I posted my results on the gym forum, uh, two guys said, oh, yeah, you're lying, you must be using testosterone replacement therapy, and I swear to God, I, I'm not, okay? People have seen me uh, when I'm fat, so uh, I'm very honest about how I look, and uh, unfortunately, my physique does not reflect the fact that you know, the physique is so good that people call me out for using steroids if um, they just look to my physique. It's just the testosterone level. But I'm going to tell you in this video all the ways to get your testosterone level really high, all right? And for the women watching as well, okay, we're also talking about female sex hormones in this video as well, right? So uh, the main reason why my testosterone level is through the roof is that recently, in the last few weeks, I've been eating 650 grams of beef and lamb. That's like almost one and a half pounds for those who use pounds. And uh, I also eat nine eggs a day. And red meats and uh, the egg yolk in eggs are very high in cholesterol, okay? And cholesterol is the precursor of the female sex hormones and testosterone, all right? So you need cholesterol to make uh, testosterone and the female sex hormones. And uh, the body produces its own cholesterol, but not enough to be optimal if you do not eat enough cholesterol in your own diet. And what's happened uh, over the last 45 years because of uh, dietary guidelines set by the US Department of Agriculture and then which then um, spread around the world is that a lot of people uh, started avoiding saturated fats and cholesterol in the belief that it is harmful to their health and as they decrease their uh, testosterone, uh, as they decrease their cholesterol intake then t uh, cholesterol levels have gone down and if you look at this chart this is a chart over time which shows how testosterone levels have gone down about 1% a year since the 1970s, okay? So men these days have, on average, okay, obviously it depends on age, but on average men have 50% less testosterone than they did 50 years ago, all right? And another factor, so basically if you want to increase your testosterone levels, you should be eating as much red meats and eggs as possible. And as a woman, if you want to get your sex hormone like uh, progesterone into a healthy range, then you should be eating red meats and eggs, okay? And progesterone is very important for women's fertility level, all right? I'll get back onto this more in a, another video because I wanna do a video about all the hormones and how to be healthy and get your hormones into a healthy range. But this video is just about testosterone, all right? And then 
Uh, the other thing that uh, I do to increase my testosterone levels is that I lift weights. Okay, so I give myself uh, doing resistance training and uh, you want to do what are called compound movements, which, is, uh, which are movements that uh, engage a lot of muscle groups. So for example, uh, squats, okay? So uh, the heavier you do, the better. And then bench press, all right? So that's where you lie down and you push your weight off your chest. And then also deadlift, okay? So that's just like literally picking some, something off the ground. But you wanna make sure you do each exercise with a correct form. So if you don't know how to do those exercises, then you might wanna hire a trainer to teach you or to watch YouTube videos for uh, the correct technique. Um, and then you wanna do heavy, heavy weights in the eight to 12 rep range, all right? They have to be challenging, not just light weights. And that will increase your testosterone production. And then you want to avoid alcohol, okay? Alcohol is a testosterone killer. So uh, unfortunately, if you have a lot of fun and you drink a lot, it's gonna lower your testosterone levels. And then, and then another thing that a lot of people don't know is that stress basically lowers testosterone because the stress hormone cortisol is uh, an antagonist to uh, testosterone. And cortisol also, uh, well, uh, is catabolic, which means that it uses, uh, it burns muscle tissue and uh, uh, cortisol also uh, causes um, people to gain visceral fat, which is fat around the belly region and around the organs, which is like the unhealthy fat, all right? And so you wanna lower your stress levels and you want to sleep as much as possible and sleep early, all right? So try to go to bed early. Okay, preferably fall asleep by 10 p.m. because the sleep that you get between 10 p.m. and 4 a.m. is much better quality sleep than later on at night, right? So don't go to bed late, say at midnight or after midnight, okay? That will lower your t t uh, testosterone levels simply because your cortisol levels will go up. And then you want to avoid plastics. Now, why do you want to avoid plastics? because plastics contain a chemical called BPH, okay? And BPH causes the enzyme aromatase to become more uh, you know, potent, more active. And aromatase is what converts testosterone into estrogen, the female hormone. So if you get a lot of plastic exposure, and all of us use plastics all the time, then it will lower your testosterone levels and then increase your estrogen levels. And for women, they should be really aware of this as well because excessive estrogen levels will uh, put you at more risk for breast cancer, ovarian cancer, and uterine cancer, okay? The three most common female cancers are caused by excessive uh, estrogen and that's because the chemicals that we are now using are endocrine disrupt, a lot of them are endocrine disruptors which affect our hormones. And BPH in plastics is one of them, right? And if you look at this study, which was done on men and dogs, uh, which I'll put, in, uh, the, I'll put the link of the study into the video description, okay? They found microplastics in the testicles of all 23 men in the study. Okay, and that will lower their testosterone level and it most probably is lowering, lowering the sperm count of all men as well. Because if you look at this chart, it shows that sperm count has been going down 1% a year, every year as well for the last 50 years, okay? So men from the late, from the 1970s to just 2011, their sperm count has dropped by over 50%. That was just 2011, I bet you, is dropped even more now. And the sperm count dropping, plus women not getting enough cholesterol in their diet to maintain a healthy progesterone uh, range is affecting fertility in both men and women, which is why so many couples are struggling to have children and needing IVF to get pregnant, all right? Because uh, their sex hormone ranges are no longer in the correct range and 
male sperm count is way too low, all right? So avoid plastics. And on top of that, avoid, avoid eating a lot of crops, a lot of plants, okay? Now, for me, like, I, a lot of my friends know that I eat the carnivore diet and I don't wanna push that diet onto people who don't believe that, but I'm telling you, a lot of plants have been sprayed by a herbicide called glyphosate, okay? And uh, glyphosate, again, acts in the same way as BPA and it causes a bigger response in aromatase and it increases estrogen levels, which probably explains why even healthy uh, females such as, you know, Kate Middleton, ha you know, have gotten cancer um, and why female cancer rates for breast cancer, ovarian cancer, etc., have just been skyrocketing because of the herbicide and pesticides that are being used, which might act as endocrine disruptors. And for men, um, having glyphosate in their food, uh, because they spread on all the monocrops on, on soy, on corn, on wheat, okay, and on a lot of other agricultural products, will cause aromatase to increase and then for testosterone to be converted into estrogen, all right? So basically, if you want to avoid glyphosate, then you should just avoid plant material altogether or at the very least eat organic uh, foods which are grown in a warehouse or whatever and not sprayed with herbicides and all the other chemicals that are now in the, um, uh, in the food chain, all right? And then this is the thing that I'm getting at which is special to this uh, video, all right? You can increase your testosterone levels by exercising your imagination, okay? And uh, I'm gonna tell you the secret. And if you are a guy, you should like and subscribe to this video because this is literally a secret that very few people know about, okay? In fact, it is such an amazing secret that all the women who will be watching this video will roll their eyes and my wife, um, because I just had my wedding a month ago, is gonna kick me in the nuts after watching this clip, um, and then my testosterone level and my sperm count will go down, all right? So if you look at this study done by uh, Harvard University, they found basically, uh, which I'll put in the video description uh, as well, um, basically executives in companies who have attained a certain level in the, uh, in the company hierarchy, if they're higher up in the company hierarchy and attain status, then their testosterone levels will go up. Obviously, they did, wouldn't have accounted for you know, the amount of exercise those men have done or, or their diet, but uh, just based on the fact that based on status, uh, a man's testosterone level will go up. So the more alpha male a man is, the higher testosterone level you know, he will have. And this is very similar to chimpanzees who are our closest relatives, okay? So they did a study on chimps and examined the amount of testosterone in their feces and found that the higher in the hierarchy of uh, chimpanzee uh, groups, uh, basically the more alpha a male is, or the alpha male has the most testosterone level and then the higher position up in the next level up, the males will then have the second amount of most testosterone and so forth. And there's a good reason for this, okay? Because we are uh, social animals, both us and chimpanzees who are you know, our closest relatives. And so as we rise in the hierarchy of the social structure, it triggers the brain to basically, uh, when you get more confident and you have more status, it just triggers more testosterone uh, release. And also having more sex partners for a male, okay, triggers more testosterone release, okay? A lot of that has to do with nature because that's why animals will fight each other and males will fight each other in the wild and the dominant male will just become even more dominant because once they beat the other males, then they have access to all the females and then they become basically the boss of the tribe for, human, for humans 
and for, for chimps they become their head male and then all the other males have to listen to him and uh, I, I'm not pr prom promoting promiscuous behavior I'm just explaining the science and the uh, biology behind it so this using your uh, imagination thing all right, so I posted that I had really high testosterone levels on my own Facebook, and then a female friend asked me, what are you gonna do with all that testosterone? And I jokingly said, I'll pretend to be Genghis Khan. And uh, that was a joke, but there's actually an element of truth to it, okay? Because if you are not an alpha male or the CEO of a company, you can just imagine that you are an alpha male okay, that you are high status, that you are Genghis Khan or Julius Caesar or whatever, and everyone has to listen to you because you're the dom dominant badass and you're ultra confident and you dominate over all the other men. And also you're having sex with a lot of women and your testosterone level will naturally go up. If you start imagining that in your head that you are the alpha male and uh, if you start looking at pictures of hot women and, pretend, and imagine that you're having sex with them, then your testosterone levels will go up. Now, this is why I said, you know, all the women are start, gonna start rolling their eyes and my wife will kick my ass, but it's true, okay? Now, you have to do it in your imagination, all right? And you have to do it well, okay? Vividly imagine you are dominant alpha male and that you have lots of women around you who want to have sex with you. But you have to imagine it secretly, okay? So if you are in the gym, in between sets, okay? You have to keep it quiet in your mind. You can't just suddenly go, oh, I am Genghis Khan. Oh, submit to me or I'm going to kill you. All right, you can't do that. Or this is Sparta and then start kicking down a squat rack. Okay, you can't do that either. Or pretend that, oh, I am Conan the Barbarian and start swinging a freaking kettlebell around like a broadsword, all right? Okay, we are still civilized human beings even though we actually have the biology very similar to a chimpanzee, all right? I'm just saying in your imagination, pretend that you are an alpha chimpanzee and that you are an alpha male and not, you know, act it out in real life. Although, okay, in a couple of days, you might have the opportunity to act it out in real life because guess what? It is almost Halloween. So you can go and buy a Genghis Khan costume or maybe a Roman centurion costume, although, you know, Julius Caesar is a bit pompous and probably come off as gay if you go out as Julius Caesar. Or you can just go as Conan the Barbarian or even better, King Leonidas from the movie 300. And then when you're out, a lot of the ladies will be dressed as nurses and as police women. So probably a lot of them are up for having some fun as well. And if you're lucky and you pick up a lady and you have sex with her, then your testosterone level will go through the roof. Now, remember, you have to be alpha and confident. And uh, unfortunately, you can't drink, all right? So those are my tips on how to increase your testosterone levels, okay? None of it is bullshit. You can look it all up. I'm gonna link everything in the video description. Remember to like and subscribe to the video because three days from now, I'm gonna post up my body fat percentage and what I look like because I'm running a body fat loss competition with my friends. And then I'm also gonna do some content on uh, all the other hormones that you should get healthy, uh, get into healthy ranges so that it boosts your health and also increase the rate at which you burn your body fat, all right? So uh, have fun on Halloween weekend for all you young guys out there. Unfortunately, my wife is gonna lock me up after this video.